Has anyone had any improvement from taking magnesium? I know we've talked about this previously, but if so, what form of it are you taking? I would be so happy to find something to help with my muscle pain. Uh, so Michelle says, it don't help me with any pain, including leg cramps. And Jennifer said, I take malate or malate. And malate. Like yeah, magnesium malate. malate. Okay, uh, if I'm consistent with it, it takes a few weeks, but I notice an improvement. So why would someone want to take magnesium? What's it going to do? Okay, so the autonomic nervous system is made more active by calcium, as in puts you in fight or flight, and it's put into park or neutral by magnesium, putting you into the parasympathetic rest, repair, digest. So when you push calcium, your elimination shuts down. When you push magnesium, it speeds up. This is the indicator of how much magnesium you can take orally, because when you take just enough, you'll hit the bowel flush moment. All of a sudden, you will be moving your gut pretty quick. Right. So that's the problem with oral supplementation. You may be never able to take enough magnesium trying to take it orally because you will be triggering the bowel flush. So you'll be forever in a, a state of diarrhea if you take a clinical dose of magnesium. Therefore, you can take it topically. There are two common forms that you can use topically. One is called Epsom salts, that magnesium sulfate, and the other one is magnesium chloride, which is known as the magnesium oil. The reason people call it that is when, when you get the saturated solution of magnesium chloride, it feels slick in your fingers. It's kind of oily feeling, but it's a water-based solution. Okay. I wonder And we sell, yeah, we sell that. People have been calling it magnesium oil. It's a st stupid name because the, the, I don't know. It does kind of parties, feel like an oil. It does feel like an oil. It doesn't feel like does. water to Right. So when it's, you uh, take that, yeah, when you take that and apply it topically, you can put it on your feet, your chest, your legs, wherever you want. It will <clears throat> go through your skin, get absorbed. <clears throat> what you need is about two teaspoons a day, which is about 1200 milligrams of elemental magnesium. Now to the point of which magnesium to take. Citrate, malate, threonate, um, you name it, all kinds of forms, right? Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter what it's attached to. The moment you make it ionic, the moment you dissolve it, it's separated from whatever it came with. So the cheapest one, magnesium chloride or magnesium citrate, are perfectly fine because the magnesium is what counts. The chloride from magnesium chloride gets used in your stomach to make hydrochloric acid. If you go with Epsom salts, the sulfate, the sulfates are used in your joints and uh, other connective tissue to build, build things. The malate, malic acid is primarily used in your liver to uh, help soften the uh, gallstones and the likes. Malate is what makes apples sour, malic uh -huh. acid. Citrate is what makes lemons sour. Um, there you go. Okay. If it doesn't taste good, it's good for you. If it tastes good, it's not. <laughs> yeah, okay. Magnesium chloride is as bitter as, as it gets. Taking it orally is Yeah, you put a, a little bit of, bit of that on your tongue and it's like, oh, that's not very good. It's really bitter. It's really like the Epsom salts, to be honest. I mean, to have a nice warm bath or hot bath with the Epsom salts in it or um, – what were those salts that were pink that you, you – I don't know if you still – Himalayan saw salt? No, that's different. That's but different. Dead, dead sea salt is pretty good because that's 30% magnesium. So oh, yeah. soaking with dead sea salt is very healing, very helpful. Which is why they have all those spa places in uh, around the Dead Sea, right? People get yep. in there. It's supposed to make them feel yeah. better. It's, it's such a bad name, you know, Dead Sea. They call it dead because there are no fish in it. But it actually right. is very healthful, lively, supports life. It should be yeah. called, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what to call it. But anyway. 
So add magnesium. Like, so in yeah. general, if you're talking to someone that's suffering from fibromyalgia, you can't go wrong by having more magnesium in your... Yeah. I'd like to put in a commercial, Scott. People what don't do ask the question because they don't even know to ask it. We have this product called Amazing Soak. And the amazing is well-deserved. And Amazing Soak delivers large amounts of reactive oxygen species into the body. What is that? What is a reactive oxygen species? It's the stuff that raises the ORP, oxidation reduction potential. It causes your body, well... Hmm. To absorb more oxygen? To use more oxygen? Yeah, have more available oxygen. So something like this. Hyperbarics okay. chamber without the hyperbarics chamber. Well, yeah, okay. So we have had uh, a person running a marathon, and after a marathon, they're, they beat up for about a week. Like, it takes a long time to recover from the darn thing because it's a lot of abuse. I think a marathon runner straight after the marathon feels like a regular fibromyalgia client getting up in the morning. Anyway, the point being, so take two ounces of this amazing soak, put it in a bathtub, soak in it for half an hour. This person after a marathon usually takes a week to recover, is back to full function within the next day, right after the bath. Several clients, many clients with this amazing O, they take one bath, then they take the second bath a week later, and then they take a third bath a month later. And that's all they need, um, once a month maintenance of about one ounce of this thing in a bathtub. And it's phenomenally effective at improving the oxy oxygen availability in the tissue so you're not tired and you're not uh, having these neurological problems. <sighs> I don't want to give it away because it's just silly. It's, it's not horrendously expensive. 16 ounces, uh, shipping included, about $100. Small price to pay for no more aches and pains. Yeah. Yeah, that would be about a year's supply for a normal user. Oh, that's the other way of putting it too, right? Yeah. 52 baths? No, no, no. Not 52. Once a month. Once a month. You need about an ounce. Two ounces right. on the first one. Yeah. So a year's supply and just having a bath and laying there and being quiet is going to help you. Right. And you can do it as a foot soak if you can't get a full bath. Right. Cool. All right. Amazing O. Yeah. Amazing soak. Amazing O is the same product, but it's in a bottle with an eyedropper. And that's usually for people who want to disinfect their mouth or who want to kill off anything that's inhaled and all of that. It's That stuff releases the same hypochlorous acid that the white blood cell releases when it's killing off an invader. That's what it does. So you should only have it when you're feeling sick. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah. Who, who's not feeling sick today? I take I take some every day. Oh, you take some every day. Okay. So three drops in a glass of water? That's it. I take four. Four drops in a glass of water. Okay. I have some, but I haven't started taking it. I'm just, I've smelt it, and it's just like, oh. The yeah, it is. smells like a public pool. Yeah. <laughs> cool. All right. Well, that brings us to the end of uh, this session. Thanks for joining us, everybody. And we'll see you next yeah. week. Thank you, Scott. You're so good to be here.